hi so this is a video with yet another setting I'm using a different lens my mom said it would be brighter than the other one but I feel like I'm very up close and intimate right now with you which I'm not loving but yeah I'm trying to find one that would be ideal um, the audio probably is still quiet I might try filming in my room because it's a lot smaller so the sound doesn't travel as much if you know what I mean uh, also, I keep looking in the, at the at little screen I have right here to see if I'm in focus. And I think I am, but <sighs> bear with me, okay? This is what I'm saying. So, I have a book haul for you today. Uh, I don't have many books. This is some books I bought during the past month or so. So, the first three you probably saw in the thumbnail. And that's, that's the last three books of Harry Potter. So we have The Order of Phoenix, uh, Half Blood Prince, and Deathly Hallows. Uh, I actually am rereading for Harry Potter for the first time right now. Uh, I finished. Sorry if you hear my cat meowing. <laughs> he misses my grandma. Uh, sorry. Um, yes, I started rereading Harry Potter for the first time, and I'm reading it in English. Uh, and I'm really loving it. I finished uh, Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire last month and for the first time during this reread uh, I was like oh my god I need to get to the next book right now because the ending was so crazy um, but yeah I'm trying to take my time with those books because it, it is my fa first reread and I don't think I will be rereading it after I finish this one soon so uh, I haven't started the next book yet but I will probably in July. Um, the next book I bought, if you're probably really bored of me talking about this author, but and that's Tango by Svobomir Brozek. Um, this, is, this is a play. Uh, we actually had to read this in high school as a required reading. And actually uh, I picked this book uh, for my Matura exam, which is like in the US it's called the SAT and the UK A-levels. So we had this uh, Polish speaking exam that we had to prepare a presentation slash an essay for and I picked this book because I was talking about grotesque um, and it's great, I need to read it soon. Uh, actually, I'm going to show you what I have a whole collection from this edition. Look, look how cute they are. <laughs> uh, so those three are his plays. Uh, my favorite ones are uh, The Emigrants and Tango and this is super short but also very enjoyable and that's his collection of short stories. I don't enjoy his short stories or his prose as much uh, but this was quite enjoyable. Uh, the next book I have is Touch by Claire Narf. Claire Narf? Claire Narf? Uh, she wrote the first 16 lives of Harry August uh, and I really like this book. I gave it four stars because I couldn't get into it at first and I felt like the writing style didn't really fit with the action-packed storyline. I'm not sure how to describe this, but I ended up really liking it and even though I gave it four stars, it was one of my favorite re reads of last year. And she's an author who writes exactly the type of fiction that I love, which is, you know, like fiction with supernatural elements. Um, I don't know what this book is about, really. Uh, I love going to books blind, especially if I know that I liked the author previously. And she's actually coming out with a new book uh, called 84K in May. And I haven't heard anyone talking about it, but I remember <laughs> reading the premise of the book and thinking that's a really cool idea but I don't remember what the idea was so sorry um, and the last two books I have are classics uh, the first one is A Room of the View by E.M. Foster um, funny story I actually uh, own three books by E.M. Foster uh, at the moment and how many books by E.M. Foster have I read? go figure yeah I don't know what this one is about I uh, really I feel like this one might be his most famous one uh, and recently uh, a big store that I frequently go to started selling this 
uh, Penguin English Library Edition books uh, for quite cheap, so I started stacking them up. And therefore, I bought this. Uh, this is The Mill on the Floss by George Eliot. Um, this was actually a lot more expensive than the rest of the books uh, from this edition in that store. So uh, I kept like looking at, at it whenever I visited the store and telling myself, no, Anya, you really, you really shouldn't buy this. Um, but a few days ago uh, I went to the bookstore and they had uh, a sale. This was 35% off. So I was like, well, I don't have a choice now, do I? So I bought it. Yeah, I heard about this book for the first time from Lucy's channel, I don't remember her channel's name, I'll link in the description. She said this was about two siblings, a girl and boy, uh, and a girl was quite tomboyish and like rebellious and the boy was, I don't know, like quiet and so the gender roles I felt like were a little bit reversed. And I don't know, for, for a book that was written in the 19th century, I thought it was a really interesting idea. So I'm really uh, curious where the story is going to go. Yeah, that's everything I have for you today. Um, I was thinking about making a video about Jane Austen's novels, uh, so like ranking them all from my least favorite one to my favorite one, because I love Jane Austen, I read all of her novels, but... <laughs> I know not everyone is interested in classics, but if you would like to see something like that, please tell me. Um, and yeah, see you soon. Bye!